So we're going to use a 1N 4733. So now what we need to do is we need to look this up to see what the data sheet looks like. So we go to the web, get Google out there, 1N4733, and notice it says Zener Diode. So we'll click it. Then we're going to look and we're going to find us a data sheet on it. And by the way, yours is an A, but that little A is not that big a deal. Oops. This is purchase it. We don't want to purchase it. You can find your, you can find data sheets because the manufacturers want you to buy their diode. So they'll give you data sheets and you, of course, they're very useful. Let's see here. Okay, here we go. This particular diode exists in all of these forms. So what we do is we come over here and we go, okay, which one are we looking at here? 33A. Well, there's a 33A right there. See him? And notice his voltage is 5.1 volts. How convenient. And 49 milliamps. Okay? So now I know that my Voltage is 5.1 volts and 49 milliamps. I use their data sheet online. I can even print that. It's a PDF, so they'll let me print it. And what I usually do is print the first couple of pages. The rest of the pages are usually a lot of diagnostics and they show different tests and limits and stuff like that. I'm not so concerned about that. I want to know my Voltage, I want to know my current, and I want to know which diode it is, so I look in the list. So I just print both of them, okay? And a lot of times you need to know the package, too. Uh, sometimes you don't. Depends on whether you have the diode or not. Again, what they're looking for is they're looking for you to look it up and then buy it from them. And that's great. But if you got them, you might as well use them, okay? One of the places, I got, I got an old organ the other day, and I let a guy tear it apart for me. One of the boards had at least 200 diodes on it for one of the boards that it had in it. So I'll just go in there and clip all them diodes out. Even if they're all the same, I could still use them for something, you know. So, so you can see how you can just jump on there. I do the PDFs because they usually come up and you can get... Otherwise, they go through this thing of wanting you to buy the, the data sheet. Um, and you really don't have to. You can find somebody that will give it to you for free because they think you're going to buy the part, 